Hello everyone, welcome back to Akimit Ken. So today we are going to be talking about the Tor browser. Now this playlist is about entering into the realm of dark web. Now dark web is scary place and whenever you say dark web people get freaked out because there is legitimate reason for people to get freaked out over dark web because uh, you know, there are criminals, there are hackers, there are many things, illegal things going on the dark web. So first of all, we got to understand how we can access into the dark web. But before that, even before that, we need to talk about the browser that can get us access into the dark web. Now, that browser is called Tor. Now, Tor is basically, you know, just like Firefox and Chrome, it's it's a search engine it has search engine it's uh, it shows you the website you can uh, access websites through it but tor is a bit different tor has the capability which other browsers don't so first of all we gotta download tor so then we will talk about its working now to download tor all you have to do is type tor in your browser and then access the first website you will see it will be shown you like this tor project anonymity online now tor provides anonymity online but we are going to be talking about it how so just press download and you will be shown a different operating systems you can download tor for windows you can download tor for mac os you can download tor for linux but i won't recommend downloading it for android because there are a lot of privacy issues so also download tor in an environment where you want where you don't have any personal data or you're not planning to keeping it so just a precaution so after that downloading you can just install it and now let's fire up tor browser now all you have to do is just search up tor and then tor browser after that we will be shown with the tor browser screen here it is simple tor browser now the icon it looks like onion right so first we gotta talk about dark web a little now what is dark web or what people say a deep web or dark web well the difference between deep web is actually something that is not accessible by normal user i mean it's it doesn't mean that it doesn't show up on search engine you have to do a little bit of google dorking a little bit of techniques then it will show up that's deep web and deep web can still be accessible on firefox or chrome but the dark web the dark webs have extensions like dot onion and they are not accessible by normal browser it doesn't mean that these browsers don't support dot onion extensions they they support but the other thing is the tor browser works as a vpn now we are going to talk about it like what is uh, tor vpn what what is shocking about ken okay let's talk about it let me press connect here okay when i press connect what happened okay why can't i use it without connecting it what i'm connecting to i'm connecting to the tor what we call it the tor network the network of tor why why we need to get access into the tor network because all the websites that are available are in the tor network and to access them we gotta get into the tor network so tor provides us a gateway tor is a vpn it provides us a gateway so we can get access into the network of tor now the vpn concept is simple if uh, you if you want to get access into the network of some organization that organization will provide you the specific vpn it can be open vpn configuration file or something like that and when you will connect to the vpn you can access the company websites so that is a concept of vpn simple easy so basically tor acts as a vpn and allow you to get access into its network now we get the access into the network then we can access the dark webs because dark webs are mostly hosted on tor network they are not publicly available they are not any place else they are only accessible in tor so now when you are in tor there is something you gotta know too now tor provides proxies let's search something here let's just type uh, duck just type duck okay just simple dark nothing else and you will see this icon here press it tor circuit now what is tor circuit basically tor 
and bounces your request from different servers okay your request goes from first server then second server then ter third server and then to the actual website or domain or searching you want to visit so basically first of all i have this browser my tour browser my first guard is netherlands so first my request went to netherlands and then it went to germany different ip then it went to germany another different server and then we finally get to duckduckgo.com okay this is why tor is usually slow because your request is going from three servers okay now if you know that uh, most people who use dark webs for agencies and stuff like that they don't only use these three proxies or only three proxies they use like 10 11 or 12 like a lot because they want to hide their identity now the best thing about tor is like i like i said that uh, let's see if i visit some dark web and i can see that i'm being hacked like somehow i get the hunch i get the feeling how can i protect myself how can i maintain my anonymity well just type here uh, sorry just click here and then press new tour circuit for this website it will automatically change the servers okay now i have my netherlands the same okay now i have finland now i have netherlands okay new tour circuit let's make it france united kingdom then germany let's make it new netherlands united states germany let's make it new france united states netherlands let's make it new fin france finland germany let's make it new france um united states uh luxembourg so basically if if you want to just change your identity you can do it with one click and haul location haul request coming from whole data will be changed now there is no account on DuckDuckGo or tor so your emails are protected here this is how tor maintains its anonymity now i'm running tor on my main kali os okay because i have uh, protected features here okay but what you want to do is run it on some environment where you don't have personal data it is recommended now the other thing about tor is i want to discuss this is the bonus thing it's a operating system that uses the tor network to operate itself it's called tails os now tails os maintains complete anonymity it's only used for dark web purposes all you have to do is just down download the tails os and you know just uh, uh, boot it into usb or stuff like that or install it okay it's uh, basically against you know surveillance and censorship and stuff like that so you can just carry it around anywhere you can access the dark webs and then when you unplug it whole data will be lost okay so just uh, it uh, uh, the means is it basically ram stuff um, if it's running data is saved if it's not running boom data is gone okay so just click on install tails here and you can download the iso for windows also uh, this is a little bit weird to be honest uh, you can clone it too. Let's uh, download it for Linux. How we can see that? Okay, this is a little bit weird. Tor became a little bit weird to be honest for me now. Okay, download, download Tails, verify download. Welcome to Tails. I guess uh, uh, Tails is available in Linux and Windows. I guess maybe uh, you can uh, boot Tails from USB. Okay so tails is basically really good it operates on tor network now basically a uh, tor working is the same now tor proxies can be integrated with the proxy chains now proxy chains comes uh, its settings are pre-configured with the tor so all you have to do is uh, if you want to use the proxies of tor on proxy chains you can access you can get free vpn service on any browser using proxy chains just type proxy chains and then type firefox okay it will open up a firefox in basically proxy chain environment so if we if we search what is my public ip it basically shows you uh sorry i don't have so tor service running i have tor browser running but i have to start these tor service just type pseudo system ctl start tor and we will be good to go okay 
So now if we restart the proxy chains, we will be good to go. So basically this is an other method to using the Tor proxies. As you can see, now I can access the websites. And if I check my public IP, I'm not in my country. I'm in some France, some Netherlands, some Germany. And as you can see here, uh, let me show you the 127.or.or.1.9050 is basically a socket for tor now if i show you the setting it it uses the tor proxies Le wait let me show you the proxy chains 4.config we just have to see it here okay if i go down here down really below you can see socks for so, uh, 127.or.or.1 and 9050 basically just for uh, it's a socket for tor so basically now you can use tor proxies with proxy chains you can use tor itself and you can download the tails os so you have all the anonymity tools you need so this is all for today i will see you guys in next episode where we will access the some dark webs and we will talk about some of the uh, dangerous dark webs some chat rooms some you know other dark webs if youtube allows it of course so till then take care